right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to bring you one of the most important Ethereum updates you will ever see. Folks, if you have didn't if you have been disappointed by Ethereum, if you have been let down, if you've been if you found yourself saying Ethereum's a stable coin or all it does is go down, this is the video for you, folks. I believe Ethereum is on the verge of waking up and I want to discuss the exact price target that I think Ethereum could get to in the near future here if we see a bullish breakout so folks if you like the sound of that I want to ask you to do me a favor like subscribe comment and share and hit that bell icon to find new books because I want to bring you the latest and greatest in cryptocurrency news and technical analysis but I can't help you out if you're not subscribed to the channel so folks without further ado let's delve into what is happening with Ethereum in the short term here here we're forming this bit of a bit of a, a pennant a wedge pattern here we are up against significant resistance from this macro wedge that we're in and the $1,860 to $1,900 that is a significant resistance level for Ethereum if and when we can break up bullishly from this wedge and get above this key level of 1860 to 1900 I think we can see bullish continuation folks and if we make a higher high from this region and get above the Fibonacci extension 618 folks I think all-time highs is n n just a pit stop I'm gonna let you know the exact price target that I think we're gonna go to but before I do I want to discuss the major support levels that we need to maintain above we need to stay above 1775 that is the VPU VR point of control where the most amount of Ethereum was traded ultimately I think the floor for Ethereum really is 1750 1720 that was constantly a super price reactive level everywhere we look 1720 1750 very price reactive level so let's say we break out bullishly where could our price target be well what we typically do when we try to uh gauge where a bullish breakout from a wedge or descending triangle could go to we take the height of the wedge the height of the descending triangle and we move it to the presumed breakout point assuming the breakout point is here at about 1860 i think we could see a 2600 dollar eth in late april early may folks we have a confluence of reasons that a bullish breakout from this region could take us to 2600 dollars we have the one six the the 1618 fibonacci extension level lining up perfectly with the height of this wedge this is confluence folks i think we're gonna see a 2600 dollar eth in late april early may if we break out uh bullishly from uh this area here from this wedge now folks i'm gonna discuss two of the most important support levels i think for uh ethereum if we have a pullback because there's no guarantee that we uh break out here and now number one the 21 ema on the on the four hour this white line right here is the 21 ema on the four hour we can constantly see looking at this chart uh, how it's price reactive uh, you know th these regions over here everywhere you look see how we're below it was constantly acting as resistance as soon as we got above it we shot we shot up as soon as we get above it we shoot up as soon as we get below we shot down so 21 ema on the four hour very uh price reactive as well the 200 ema on the 10 hour and the 8 hour has been constantly acting as a bedrock of support for ethereum we can see here it held as support here it held as support and once again it held as support the 200 ema on the 10 hour and the 21 ema on the 4 hour i believe are some of the most relevant price reactive levels for ethereum that there are as well folks if you want to know what's going on with the state of the altcoin market always follow bitcoin dominance for those who don't know Bitcoin dominance is the total value of Bitcoin in comparison to the total value of all cryptocurrency. Whenever it rises, altcoins typically suffer. Whenever it falls, altcoins typically uh, benefit. So, folks, once we get a daily candle in Bitcoin dominance calculated by TradingView, close below 60%, we're going to see altcoins truly start to fly, uh, especially if Ethereum can get above and tackle its all-time highs and hold above its all-time highs. Folks, we haven't seen anything yet for the altcoin market. So, folks, um, let's take a conservative scenario. I think kind of the conservative scenario for a bullish breakout is $2,400. So, from this region here to $2,400 is about a 32% move to the upside. So, let's take a look at when was the last time Ethereum had a 32% move to the upside. It was over here. This was a 32% move to the upside. How long did that take? 
roughly 19 days. So if we presume that you know Ethereum typically acts in a similar fashion, uh, typically forms similar price structure. So I think a bullish breakout could take us to 24 to 2600 dollars uh, in late April, early May, uh, depending on where we break out. So folks, that is my time frame for uh, the, a bullish price target late April, early May, 24, $2,600 if we break out bullishly and get above this key resistance zone here. So folks, if you like this video and you want more videos such as this, you got to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell button to find new posts. Because I bought the exact bottom. I was telling our people, I was letting our people know. I thought this was the bottom. I bought the bottom. I longed the bottom. You guys got to stay tuned to this channel because I want to help you. But I can't if you don't like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell icon to, find new, uh, to be notified new posts as well, folks. If you like what we do, you want to support us, join our vip discord you get access through the through our patreon link for that down in the description below our patreon members our vip discord members get the low cap gems we're looking at first before anyone else uh, gets to hear them and folks if ethereum breaks above all-time highs i think a lot of of the good low caps are going to absolutely explode so folks join our vip discord link for that down in the description below thank you so much for watching i'm gonna wrap it up here folks until next time take care